Hi, my name is Rob Hindman, and I'm a clinical psychologist at the Beck Institute. We're a nonprofit organization with a mission of improving lives worldwide through cognitive behavior therapy, also known as CBT. And we do it through a combination of training therapists in CBT, as well as conducting it ourselves with clients who come to our clinic. And one of the things we've been seeing a lot of lately, which you might expect, is clients very anxious about the current COVID-19 pandemic. When clients have been coming in, a big way they've been coping is with worry, and we consider worry a coping strategy, not necessarily a helpful coping strategy, because it's something a lot of us do when there's any bit of uncertainty. So when you don't know for sure what's gonna happen, when things kind of seem you know, up in the air, we cope by thinking through all the potential bad things that can happen, but with worry, you never really come to a solution. And when you think through it, you're not actually doing anything. So the reason why people worry in the first place is we have beliefs about worry, mainly that it's helpful in some way. So we might believe that if I think through all of these potential catastrophic scenarios, I'm gonna come up with an answer and I'm gonna either feel better, I'm gonna be prepared, or it's gonna prevent any kind of dangerous thing from happening. But again, when we're just thinking through it, we're not taking action and nothing is actually happening. All that's happening is we're stoking our anxiety because our body has no idea if what we're thinking is actually in front of us right here, right now, or if it's just a thought. So even when you're just thinking about these terrible things happening, your body's gonna respond with anxiety because anxiety is just energy for a challenge. So one tip I've been teaching my clients is something called mindfulness. And mindfulness is just when you're aware of what's going on in the here and now, in the present moment, and you're aware of it in a non-judgmental and accepting manner. So what happens is a client might read the latest news about the COVID-19 pandemic, then they start thinking about how this is going to affect them, how it's going to affect their lives. That leads to a lot of anxiety, but you can choose whether or not you want to keep on worrying or whether you want to shift focus to something else that's not as threatening. So I figured we could do a mindfulness exercise now. Um, a lot of people learn mindfulness through yoga where it's a lot of focusing on the breath. So I figured I'd do something a little bit different where it's focusing on something visually in front of you. Uh, because you're watching the video, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scoot out of the way and I can just have you focus on what's behind me in my office since there are a bunch of different objects. Before we get into this, I'm gonna want you to start worrying though. So I'm gonna instruct you to get worry going because that's gonna help us test out some beliefs about worry as well. So I'm gonna to scoot to the side here. And what I want you to do is, I want you to have your eyes on what you're seeing in my office, but I want your real focus to be on worrying. So kind of like what happened day to day where you're doing something, but you notice you're really in your head worrying. So while your eyes are on what's in my office, I want you really to be focused on worrying, particularly about what's happening in the world right now. So get this going for a little bit. Now I want you to take note of how anxious you feel, zero to 10 kind of rating it, zero not at all, 10 the most anxious you can ever feel, the most anxious you've ever felt in your life. Now what I want you to do is I want you to shift your attention just to what's in front of you, what you're looking at right now. So notice the different objects in my office. Focus on the colors, the shapes. Maybe noticing how the light shines against some of them. Just putting your full attention on what you're seeing in front of you.
As you do this, you'll notice that your mind's gonna be doing a lot of different things. A lot of different thoughts are gonna be showing up. And every time you find yourself getting caught up in thoughts, just notice that's happened and then gently bring that focus back to what you're seeing in front of you in my office. You don't have to try to force any thoughts away or try not to think about anything. So as you're focusing on what you're seeing in front of you, you'll notice different thoughts in the back of your mind. All you have to do is just let them stay in the back of your mind where your main focus is on what you're seeing. Letting those thoughts just kind of come and go on their own without trying to interfere with them at all. There's no need to criticize yourself for having your mind wander or getting caught up in thoughts because that's just normal experience. Just kind of take note when it happens, every time it happens, and then just gently move that focus back to what you're seeing in front of you. So I want you to take another mental note of how intense your anxiety is now, and we can end the exercise. So, you know, what kind of things did you notice doing that? So first, what happened to anxiety? So what typically happens to anxiety is that it goes down, and it's the point of the exercise isn't to force anxiety down or to try to eliminate it. Anxiety is just gonna be proportionate to what you're focusing on. So when you're focusing on all of these catastrophes, you're going to feel anxious because your body's responding to it. When you focus to what's going on right here, right now, so like my office, as long as it's not something threatening, anxiety is gonna naturally fade because it's not needed anymore. Another thing to take note of is if you were able to actually do that, to notice that worry to begin with and then let go of it, because another belief about worry that keeps it going is the belief it's uncontrollable. Now we can't control thoughts showing up in our minds, but what we can control is how we respond to them. So every time you find yourself getting caught up in worry thoughts about the current pandemic, what you can do is just notice they've happened, and then instead of thinking more into them, just refocus back on whatever's in front of you. So if you're in your house watching Netflix, which is a common thing right now, just go back to watching whatever's on TV. If you're with family, having a conversation, you might notice a tension going in your head, just kind of notice that's happened, and then you have the ability just to bring that focus back to what's in front of you by just visually noticing what's happening. So I hope this was a nice quick tip that was helpful that you can put into action. So every time you notice your mind kind of in this worry process, you have the ability to kind of redirect back to what's going on in the right here, right here, right now as a way to get out of this worry. So I hope this was helpful and uh, take care.